Hello all, Tech Jacks here. Um, I just recreated a virtual machine because I had all my virtual machines updated in Windows Update. So this machine is fresh. I just added it to the domain. Um, it just uh, appeared in my computer's container and I went ahead and I pushed it over to my workstation container and it's called Rocky. <clears throat> so here in uh, SCCM, what we're gonna go ahead and do is pull up our CCM log so we can go ahead and watch what happens when I go ahead and try to push the client to it? <clears throat> so actually, as you can see, SCCM already tried to start the process of sending over um, the client. I didn't even actually go ahead and do it, but it's an SCCM and I have the client already set up to actually try to install any devices that it finds. So as you can see, it already started to update at 535 it's been five minutes it already sent over the package so let's go back to um, this device and let's see I don't have CM trace over here already so that sucks I'll go ahead and go into the Windows folder though CCM is there and look we got logs Wow I think the client is already installed yeah that sucks well this video was going to be a video on how to actually um push the client and watch the logs as they come down but the client actually already went ahead and installed so i guess i set that up all right so then this video is just going to become the video on how to set up the group policy to disable the windows updates we don't want to have the windows updates in here uh, checking so let's go ahead and pull up, up open our group policy and here you can see i already have it set up to uh, disable configure updates and specify the internet Microsoft update location to our Windows server. <clears throat> so here, in order to set that configuration for your Windows updates, you will go into your computer configuration, you go into policies, you go into administrative templates, you go into window components, and then you drag down all the way into the Windows updates. In Windows Updates, what you would go ahead and do is configure automatic updates, double click, and you would disable that. You can also go ahead and specify your intranet uh, software update point uh, by um, pointing to the actual SUP in your environment. So since my uh, SCCM box is called CM01, um, uh, I went ahead and I actually uh, put in the, the path uh, and the port number in order for it to point towards this as the software update point. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now then, since the client is already on there, I'm gonna go ahead and run some configuration policy updates so that this machine has everything it needs from SCCM. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is create a quick, it already has that as well. So this is moving pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and create a software update um, package for Windows updates. <clears throat> so here on all our software updates, let's add some criteria. Let's do all our critical updates first. So I'll go by date released, and I'll do just the last month so this is not that long. We'll go by product, we'll go by if it's superseded and expired. And let's go ahead and click add. So we're going to go ahead and say the last 28 days. We don't want these to be expired. We don't want these to be superseded. And we're going to just go ahead and grab updates for Windows 7. So this should fits with that filter, uh, filter down for us um, the updates that we have. So we have 359 possible updates for this Windows 7 machine. Now some of these are Windows 7 and some of them are Windows 7 64 bit. Uh, Windows uh, SCCM will be able to scan our actual device and be able to determine whether or not it's a 64-bit or 7 uh, or 32-bit operating system and apply the proper updates going forward. So all we need to do is go ahead and actually select all of these, right-click, and create a software update group. We're going to name this Critical Updates. And this is going to create a software update group of all the updates that we just saw. 
Now, if you were going to do specialized packaging for specific updates, then you can use this to, you know, get in and out or select particular ones that you want. So we have a critical updates here. Let's go ahead and uh, you can click show members to see what's already a part of it. So you can see the updates that's a part of this. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is download these updates. And we're going to go ahead and put in a path so that our updates can uh, install to. And we're going to create a new deployment package, which you see here. We're going to call this uh, Critical Updates Tech Jack Demo. And we're going to go ahead and select our distribution point and hit OK. We're going to set this to high. That's to keep our Windows updates in high priority. We're going to distribute this content to the package to the preferred distribution points and set it to automatic. And we're going to download these updates from the internet. But we can actually download these software updates from our location on our network. Um, so if we had uh, WSIS already that had all these updates, then we wouldn't have an issue. We could just point it to that path and those updates would be there for us. Um, I selected English for the language. Here's a summary of all the updates that are going to get pulled down. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. And I'm going to go ahead and pause now and we'll come back when all of the updates are actually downloaded. All right, we're back. Our updates have finished downloading. I'm going to go ahead and close this box here. Okay, so here's our critical updates. Tech Jack demo pack is still uploading to the distribution point. And remember in the wizard, we selected it to automatically uh, send it to the preferred distribution point. So that's what it's doing now. <coughs> refresh make sure this come up and let's go ahead and, and check over here I can go ahead and get CM trace loaded up over here so let me go ahead and do that um, let me see what would be the easiest way for me to get CM trace over there well, I can go ahead and map to my drive but I don't want to go ahead and do that Shared folders, I got my PC stuff. I think CM Trace is on my desktop somewhere already. There it is. I'll go ahead and copy this. Let me go ahead and get that back up. Okay, what was that? Can I get this copied? There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and copy it over here. There we go. CM Trace. Let's go ahead and open up our logs. Open computer, Windows, CCM, logs. And we're going to go ahead and pull up our Windows let's see, um, update deployments. Let's see. Back over to the CM box. Go ahead and check on our. Yep, it's done. Let's go ahead and deploy this to our collection. Critical updates collection. I'm going to go ahead and deploy. And you can name it here. Uh, we can say critical Windows 7 updates. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick my WSIS pilot collection that I created for this. I'm going to make these required and we're going to uh, have these installed as soon as possible. The deadline is going to be as soon as possible. Uh, the software updates are going to install. We're going to set it to system restart in this environment. Uh, we're going to suppress any servers. So the deadline behavior is once the deadline is reached, it's going to automatically install the software updates and it's going to restart the system if necessary. 
they generate an alert to let us know that if um, we didn't get a certain uh, percentage of our updates installed and uh, we're going to download software updates from the distribution point and install and if software updates are not available on a preferred distribution point we're going to go ahead and download, download from Microsoft updates and that's helpful in situations in which your network is a little messed up and you're having issues and um, you might have um, locations and remote offices and just things like that and you know the metadata has been sent out anyway via SCCM so as long as it's getting the metadata it can pull those downloads uh, from Microsoft update online without actually uh, pulling down every single update so that's working I can go ahead and go to our asset and compliance and make sure that in our pilot group we have a we don't have current machine let's go ahead and add a resource go ahead and do Rocky search there's our Rocky machine and we'll go ahead and click add okay wow what is this unhandled exception has occurred I haven't seen this one continue so we might have to go ahead and figure out what's going on with that I have not seen that before I'm just gonna go ahead and add this device oh wow my configuration manager has stopped oh well this is the lab so that's not the best thing that can happen <laughs> but it happens obviously as you see so let me go ahead and add a resource again uh, search add okay there we go and let me go ahead and check our software library for our software updates after the crash we have a deployment I believe as going to our critical window 7 updates group uh, um, we're going to go ahead and check our pilot let's see what the deployments that we have we have a critical updates deployment it was a 613 so that was the one we just created we have two devices inside Rocky and Win 7 uh, 2014 here's the Rocky machine let's go ahead and go to our configuration manager let's go ahead and run some actions here software updates deployments software update scan Hit OK, open up CM Trace again, and I'm going to grab the other Windows updates. I think this might be it. <clears throat> so this should be working in the background. We have a status agent and we also have our policy agent going right now. So the software update should start to get pushed down. So what I'll go ahead and do is going to take a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and pause and we're going to sit here and then let these go ahead and log up. I'll go ahead and, and make sure that we have our logs. Uh, showing so that we can keep track of those okay so we got that ready to start to look for software updates as you can see we have updates deployments and things like that coming down um, I need to actually go back to my client settings because this is a newer setup I need to make sure that software updates is actually allowed via my workstation client policy so I went to administration I went to client settings and I'm verifying that software updates are enabled. Uh, so I put the check mark there and I'm enabling software updates on my client. And you can set the software update scan to run at specific times. Um, when any software update deployment deadline is reached, install all other software update deployments within deadline coming down with a specific time period. We're going to go ahead and put a yes. And that time period, we're going to go ahead and put like two hours. This is just our testing environment. So our client settings should also um, help us with our software deployments because um, our client settings allow us to be able to uh, change local policy on the client machine via the client settings so it's processing updates now 
Got another CM Trace open. I was going to go ahead and look for some different logs that should be popping up now. Here we go. We got update handler. Update handler now is pulling down software updates. So here's a quick review again of what, everything that we've done. <clears throat> this is a new machine. Uh, as soon as it was added to the domain, uh, SCCM went ahead and installed the client onto the machine. Uh, we went ahead and we edited our group policy for configuring uh, uh, WSYS. And what we went ahead and did was we verified that we configured automatic updates to be disabled. And we specified our intranet Microsoft update service location. And we pointed it to our primary site, which is our software update point, because SCCM is now going to control our, our software update, so we might as well point it towards it. So what happens is if that client on Windows 7 machine, Rocky, ever got broken, then what would happen is, is that it would try to automatically download updates. And as you can see, we just had a balloon pop up. Software updates are pulling down. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up our software center to see if we can see any action in there. Here's our installation status, and here are all the updates that we pushed. So these are the updates that we pushed via SCCM. As you can see, there's no Windows 7 updates in here because of the scan. It was able to determine which updates would uh, be suitable for this Windows 7 machine, and it's only 64-bit based uh, updates. So these are waiting to install now. They're currently installing, and they will start the machine after everything is done. In our workstation, in our client settings, you have to make sure that you enable your software updates in your client settings. This is also where you're going to do stuff like set up your remote tools and your software metering and things like that. We have a group policy set up. And in SCCM, we went to software library. We grabbed all our software updates. We did an add criteria to filter down to what specific kind of update that we wanted. Uh, we named that software update group and we downloaded the updates to our actual uh, server. And then we deployed. Um, after we created our deployment package, we deployed it to our, our WSYS pilot test group. We added our machine to that pilot test group. And with a little bit of patience and uh, using the Action Center to kick off some of these files with uh, our logs uh, being able to keep up with the status, we're able to see software updates come down and be installed via the software center and via a pop-up box. So uh, this is uh, how to install software updates via SCCM. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for watching.